South Jersey Bureau reporter Sydney Long is live in Camden and Sydney Camden is getting a brand new business. Well, Denise and Keith, that's right. It was a very exciting today for day today for both city and county leaders as Webimax becomes the brand new neighbor taking over this vacant office space. You can see the lights are on. 100 employees who specialize in startups, marketing, and web design are moving in. They will be followed by 100 more employees this spring. The initial reaction, the drive is going to get a little bit easier. Instead of his commute from Egg Harbor Township to Mount Laurel, Webamax sales rep, husband, and dad, John Borkowski, will now call Camden home for work with a view of the waterfront to boot. The fact that they're a well known marketing firm and they're now based here in Camden, does that market Camden in and of itself? Without question, it markets Camden in such a profound and tremendous way. As you know, Webamax, uh, they cover the span of this nation. Mayor Dana Red gave away a key to the city. This afternoon, Webamax, the first new company to set up shop here under the state's new Economic Development Act, signed into law by Governor Christie last year. To join them, power plant supplier Holtec, defense contractor Lockheed Martin, alongside the 76ers, their new practice facility, and now Subaru International plans to drive down the street from Cherry Hill to call Camden home. Well, no doubt about it. I think a rising tide lifts all boats. So it's. Um, there's a lot of momentum in the city when you have companies like Subaru, Holtec, Webimax saying they're coming to Camden City, others will follow. So, and it means more jobs. All of the companies afforded major tax incentives to start. The business tax incentives were needed in order to level the playing field for Camden to be able to compete in this region and in the market. Over time, there will be taxes that are phased in. So what will they do better? Borkowski says business overall. It's a priceless view. Uh, you know, you look at a lot of technology companies and, you know, this is what they do. They have views like this. They have buildings like this. And as these big businesses come in, so too will the small businesses like restaurants, cafes, even hot dog vendors begin to flourish again here in Camden. Both Mayor Red and Freeholder Director Lou Capelli says, quote, there will be more announcements in the pipeline to be announced as early as the beginning of 2015. As soon as we know who they are, we'll let you know. Live in Camden, I'm Sydney Long, NBC 10.